Seen how much hockey means to the city of Winkler. Time now to see what Winkler means to the game. Did you know it played a crucial role in a Cold War hockey drama? Mark Lee of CBC Sports has the story. It's not the Kremlin nor Parliament Hill, but believe it or not, this was once the epicenter of a Cold War controversy. This is George Smith trucking, and this is George Smith. Here's, here's a pattern in the cup. This is the story of a man, a trophy, and two hockey superpowers. Yemayev over the line. Here's a backhand shot. They score as Gulikov got in on the backhand and picked the far side, and it's 7 to 1. The intrigue began when the Soviets beat the Canadians to win the 1981 Canada Cup. The way the whole thing started was that I saw our Prime Minister, Pierre Elliott Trudeau and Alan Eagleson, present the Canada Cup in Sunday night in Montreal. The following morning, I got up to uh, go to work, and I saw on television the Montreal Police Department with guns drawn fighting with the Soviet hockey players to take the cup away from them. And I said, let's make the Soviet team a Canada Cup. George took his cause to the media. After a story in the Winnipeg Sun, the donations poured in. Well, this is people with sending a dollar. We ended up with $32,001 bills. Whether you want to believe it or not, we ended up with $32,001 bills. I mean, this is just, just, we got about eight, nine bags of mail like this. When it came time to make the cup, there was no shortage of volunteers, including this foundry in Winkler. And I had possibly four or five truck operators that worked for me that wink lived in Winkler. And one of them suggested, hey, why don't you try Heritage Foundry? Well, we called Heritage and they said, we're in, go. The foundry and most of the companies involved donated their time to make the cup. That meant almost all of the $32,000 raised was given to local amateur sports. But in true Cold War fashion, not everyone was pleased with George Smith's efforts. Mr. Eagleson and, and Hockey Canada were very, very, very mad about what we were doing. And they, in turn, uh, called the RCMP, the CIS, and they uh, started harassing us. In fact, they came and were sitting outside our door of our office for probably three, four days. And the governor general at that time was Mr. Edward Schreier. And little did those people know that I was a boyhood friend of Mr. Edward Schreier. And therefore, I called Mr. Schreier and said, Eddie, what is with this nonsense? After that, they disappeared. We didn't hear no more about him. Alan Eagleson's a schmuck. I mean, he's got Finally, three weeks after it began, George Smith celebrated his success. The replica trophy was given to the Soviet ambassador in a ceremony at Portage in Maine in Winnipeg. This particular cup is going to be implanted directly to the hearts of millions of hockey fans of the Soviet Union. It wasn't whether it was the USSR or whether it was USA or whether it was Sweden or whether it was Finland. It was a matter of our prime minister giving the winner of the winning team the cup and 10 minutes later the Montreal Police Department fighting with him to take it back.